once again, we are so privileged uh, to have with us Brother Prophet, Pastor, Evangelist, Tony Kim. Uh, many of you have uh, observed him on TBN, the word channels, on is supernatural. Uh, he has been uh, one of the presenters as to the grace and to the glory of God. And I was particularly uh, impressed and shocked uh, sometimes last year when I heard on is supernatural the manifestations of God now. And God opened my eyes and, and lo and behold, God made it possible that uh, Prophet Kim path, my path crossed his. And we're so delighted. And God have a way of bringing to our lives those who are able to impact us in ways in which we never imagined. So we are delighted tonight. Uh, the miracles and signs and wonders that we know that God has for the church. And I want you to stand to your feet and help me to appreciate and to celebrate uh, the life of Prophet Tony King. God bless you. Somebody say all these gifts, all these gifts are, supernatural. are supernatural. 
Look at somebody said they're given by the Spirit of God. And anybody who's saved, saved filled with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence to speak in the tongues, can receive any one of these gifts. So let me give an example of the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge. Let's just say you and I do not know each other, and let's say the Lord Jesus speaks to my heart, and let's say you have a plot of land, and let's say you're thinking about selling the land, you haven't told me, I don't know, but also the Holy Spirit speaks to me, and I point you out and I say, don't sell the land. Everybody say, word of wisdom. And then I say, because there's oil underneath the land. Everybody say, word of knowledge. Does that make sense to you? Okay. Okay. So, uh, the word of knowledge is not, everybody says, it's not psychic phenomena. It's not ESP. Clairvoyance. Palm reading. Tarot card reading. Tea leaves. Crystal ball gazing. Look at somebody saying that's all witchcraft. It's, it's, it's not about horoscopes. So anyway, um, what's you guys' relationship right here? You married? Um, let me ask you a question. Um, which of you would you say struggles the most with procrastination? Now, all of a sudden, I get interrupted, right? And I just go straight for this deal. By the way, when I got up there, the Lord started talking to me about you and procrastination. Uh, is this your first time ever hearing me? Did they tell you I have like this sense of humor? Did they warn you at all? Who invited you? Oh, the lady who left the daycare, and she didn't give you no kind of warning whatsoever. Hmm. Anyway, like I have this sense of humor, because the Lord works through your personality, and and so the Lord, and I do a thing called prophetic questions. I know the answer before I ask, but it's kind of like my lead-in. You know what I mean? Uh, but I do it for my own entertainment, because I believe that. Um, I just want to say this to you: when you get to heaven, you're going to have lots of fun. But I'm not waiting. <laughs> I'm having my fun now in the Lord. <laughs> so what am I talking about? What, what gifts am I talking about? Word of knowledge and past and present. And these guys have an issue with procrastination. I want both of you to come up um, and bring your phone with you. Both of you bring up your phone. Bring your Bibles. Just stand right here. So, um, let me ask you a question. Uh, who's putting off the consecration that the Lord's been talking to you about? Me. Is he alone? See, I do this to everyone. <laughs> so everybody say, demonstrate the word. So anyway, um, uh, by the way, you've had this problem with procrastination ever since grace. <laughs> Shall I go into greater detail? Just for fun. You'll enjoy this. I promise you'll enjoy it. She's really going to enjoy it. Watch. Um, in the past, you had issues with starting stuff, but not finishing it. Yes, sir. You had issues with distractibility. Yes, sir. You used to sit in class, and your mind would just drift off. Yes, sir. And it was better for you to sit up front, because if you sat in the back, 
you got distracted and people distracted you. Yes, sir. And so that was part of your, if I can say it to you like this, your report card. <laughs> yes, sir. What you get you, you was doing what? Let's talk about this today. <laughs> now, what is this about? What is this really about? It's really not about the gift. What it's really about is that Jesus is intimately involved in your lives. And when you two of you are having a conversation, he's there. The word of knowledge reveals the knowledge of God that the, in this case, I'm the Lord who hears you and listens to you. Who has trouble here saying I'm sorry?
Loving me now, ain't you? Loving me now, ain't you, girl?
personal prophecy is conditional. Oh, by the way, the Lord has something else to do for you. Are you recording? Yes. Very good, good, good guy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. The way that you are wired, your visual learn, the second way you learn is by putting your hands on you. If you can put your hands on you, you can be Oh, let me see if he do it. Learn like that, I'll be good. You are gonna learn like that. I'm gonna put my hand on your head, but I ain't gonna mess up your hair. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he was just bald last week. I cut his hair. Oh, he has hair now, yeah. Yeah. And you know the Lord really blessed you. That was Jesus, man. You didn't do this on your own. Oh, you know that's right. You know what I mean? How are you up in here? Five minutes? Well, congratulations. Seriously, if you will obey the Lord, the Lord will open up the door of opportunity for more finances. I need to tell you that. Don't worry about it. So are you going to have a little girl? Mount Ararat in Hebrew 
means the curse is reversed. Hallelujah. So uh, anyway, uh, would you say in any way you sort of, sort of kind of been running from God, sort of kind of running from God on what you know you're supposed to, that you're supposed to be doing? Yeah. And so are you going to deliver the word he called you to start delivering? He has a growth. 
They take him in for an x-ray to discover that his calf muscle had grown back. So like this is like no problem. Do you believe God's going to do it right now? All right. Close your eyes. Say, Jesus, I take my miracle. Now just listen to my prayer. Luke 137, with God, nothing shall be called impossible. Actually, in the original language, there's no word of God is void of power, which means every word of God is filled with power. I knew nothing about this case, but I'm prophesying. And Jesus said in Mark 10, 23, with God, all things are possible. I suspend time. I don't want you to pray, sister. Touch. I want you just to listen to my prayer. I suspend time. I speak a creative miracle into this woman's body. I decree and declare she will get pregnant and have normal pregnancy. By the power of a miracle, I release the supernatural miracle power of God. I speak that creative miracle into her body, and I decree and declare, Lord God, that they will have children, both a boy and a girl. Here comes the anointing for it. Three, two, one, there it is. Supernatural Foundations. Click on to more from. Okay, you can watch the videos. I teach on Supernatural Foundations and Supernatural Freedom, Supernatural Revelations. I preach on Supernatural Prayers, and I also teach on uh, Supernatural Manifestations. Watch the videos. Find the subject. Watch the videos. Take notes. You learn by seeing. In fact, when you start looking, your concentration is there. It's just when it's trying to read. Otherwise, you can do it. And you have concentration to focus when you work with your hands. Does that make sense to you? Give me your hand. The Spirit of the power of God is going to come on you. How many of you can stretch forth your hand right here? I release the Spirit and power of God upon this brother right now. Lord, I thank you for improving his memory. I thank you for improving his concentration. You're improving his focus. Lord, you are improving his retention. Lord, you, you forgive him now for his sin and disobedience. Lord, you're delivering him from procrastination. You're going to help him with his focus. Lord, you're going to give him drive and determination. Lord, you're going to give him, you're going to put pressure on him to surrender. Lord, you're going to work obedience and holiness and consecration into his life. And Lord, as he obeys you, you're going to open up a door of finance for this lovely couple in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, you're going to give this man with the power of the Holy Ghost. Okay, get ready, because here comes the anointing. Three, two, one, there it is. You can let him go out. Mm. You need another wave. Here it comes. There it is. Come on, let's praise God for 60 seconds. Somebody ought to praise him up in here. Thank you, Jesus. Um, word of knowledge of the prophet Elijah. Let me just mention it. He says to the king, your enemy is going to be here and here. Don't be there. Everybody say, word of knowledge. Word of, knowledge. Word of wisdom. 
Word of knowledge in the ministry of Jesus. He meets Nathaniel. He says, you're a true Israeli. There's no falsehood in you. He says, how you know? He says, when you was under the fig tree, praying, I saw you. You are the Son of God. Everybody say, word of knowledge. Word of knowledge. Okay. I think we've demonstrated that enough. Look at somebody said, the lesson continues. Yes. To another faith by the same spirit. You could also translate this, the gift of a word of faith. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is supernatural faith. Look at somebody said, this ain't your faith. <laughs> so when it says in, in, in Mark, and in Matthew, have faith in God. In the original language, it means have the faith of God. Look at somebody say, have God's faith. Have God's faith. <laughs> okay. All right, well, let me do this. How many of you, again, are, are visitors? Raise your hands or raise them up high. Raise them up, raise them up, raise them up. I want to see them hands. I want to see them hands. Okay, of you that are visitors, only of you that are visitors. And um, do I have just, do I have any, any among you that are a visitor, you have a short arm or a short leg by accident, injury, or by birth? Any of you? Is your hand raised or no? Um, short arm or short leg? Short leg because of? Don't know? How long have you had it? Quite a while. Okay, now I'm a really specific. So it's quite a while, a year, a month, five years, 20 years, or 39 years. Did you work here about 39? About five years? Okay. So that's one right there. Let me ask the second question. Is there anybody else? Short arm or short leg? Yes? What's your deal? Because of? Okay, short leg, spinal stenosis. Anybody here have a back problem as a result of the back problem? You have a short arm or short leg? Or you have a back problem and you have it now? Or you've been having it, maybe you're not in pain now. Raise your hands. Okay, you guys come up to the front. You come up. I'm gonna show you gift of faith. Yes? Yeah, you should come. And just sit up here in front. It doesn't matter what side. Two on this side, two on that side. That way we just equal opportunity. Okay, gift of faith. Pick a side, Mama. Mama get to do whatever she want to do. Um, you said spinal stenosis. Oh, you the one that I was playing with today. She was at the, you know. Just like I played with them, I, I played with her today. Look at somebody said, playful ministry. And what's your deal? I had back surgery. And it affected my walking. Yeah. And I get tired of my legs fast. Um, what was what did that surgery for? What did the surgery accomplish? What did it accomplish? Pinch nerve and it relieved it. Yes. Pinch nerve it accomplished that. Yes. Okay, what did it accomplish? Uh, the after effect of the, the trouble with walking. Okay, how long ago did you have the surgery? Ten years ago. Oh, okay, so that's 